Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I want to share some news related to the world of hip hop. A Philadelphia rapper by the name of Abdul Ibrahim West, better known as A.R. Ab, was sentenced to 45 years in prison just a few days ago due to a 2018 federal indictment where West and eight other people uh, who were said to be members of a drug trafficking organization and were selling drugs or distributing drugs in North Philadelphia um, they, they were basically charged with um, conspiracy to distribute the possession and distribution of cocaine, crack, methamphetamine, and heroin. And he was found guilty in November of 2019. And he was finally uh, sentenced to uh, 45 years in prison uh, on April 15, 2021. And man, that's that just on a side note, that has to be a, a very stressful period of time to go from November of 2019 to April 2021 before you actually get your uh, sentence. Like you already know you're guilty, but then you have to wait like a year and a half to finally know how long you'll be in prison. And to, to come back with 45 years, he's 38 years old, meaning that when he gets out of prison, he'll be 83 years old. From the ages of 38 to 83, he will be in a cell. And the reason I'm making this video is not this, like, you know, to say, oh, that's crazy. Like, wow, he's going to spend pretty much the rest of his life in prison is because, you know, I actually listen to AR rap. I've, I've always been a fan of uh, Philadelphia hip hop. I like the, the battle rapping. I like the freestyling, the lyricism. Always been a fan, you know, from Cassidy to Vodka to Meek Mills to, uh, uh, you know, there's quite a Os Chino, uh, Joey Jihad. There's a lot of underground dudes in Philly who like have some bars and, uh, you know, they, their, their, their lyrical content is pretty nice, but you know, this is a, but in regards to ARM who I've seen in, uh, interviews on officer Vlad's, uh, or DJ Vlad's YouTube channel, um, you know, he, and, and he was basically being braggadocious about, you know, his past and what's, almost seems like he was, you know, snitching on himself on stuff he's currently doing. And it's, it's just, it's mind boggling. You know, the fact that you're 38 years old and you haven't grew to a point where you want to leave the streets alone. You want to focus on music or open up a, a business and make money legitimately. You know, like it's, I don't want to say it's understandable when you're when you're younger because it's still dumb and i feel like even when i was like 15 16 years old i still knew what selling drugs leads to it leads to being in prison and or, be, or getting shot at or being killed and you know i've been in the juvenile detention facility when i was i think 14 or 15 years old um you know i was doing some stuff that i don't really want to elaborate on and uh you know i ended up being picked up friday night and I had to spend uh, the weekend in the juvenile detention hall in Akron, Ohio on Dan Street. And that was a wake up call for me uh, as a teenager. You know, I, I can already, I just said to myself, I, I can't do this. I can't be in no cell all freaking day. I can't, you know, not have the freedom to do what I like to do. And I, I don't want to say like, that was like the reason I turned my life, on, life around, but there was, because there was, other things as well, like mentoring groups and, and things like uh, such as things such as that or whatever. But it definitely played a huge role in me not wanting to do, keep doing what I was doing. And I see a lot of the people that I grew up with still involved in that kind of lifestyle. You know, you see on Mobile Patrol people that, uh, and this is like an app where it's, it shows all the people who are arrested in a particular area. And I, I always check to see people that I grew up with, see if anyone's got gotten locked up. And, sh and sure enough, every other week, it's someone I know. It's another face I know. Someone I went to high school, middle school, someone I played basketball with. And, you know, what I have to say is, like, you know, you got to leave that stuff alone. Once you get to being, you know, in your, your late 20s or just the sooner you leave the streets alone, the better. Because you might make a decision where you ruin the less, rest of your life. And there's never a point where you're, you're too far gone to leave the streets. Like there's always, there's, you, you can leave whenever you want to leave, you know, you go, go to trade school, take some, take the drug money that you earn to move out of the neighborhood and go to a, a you know, pick up a skilled trade. You could be making 20, $25 an hour easy, you know, pro provide for you and yours and not have to worry about, you know, people trying to blow your head off 24 seven. So, 
Um, in regards to A.R. Ab, man, I, I don't want to say I feel bad for him because, you know, as a man, everyone has a decision to make in life. And, you know, he made the decision to do what he wanted to do. But, you know, at the same time, if he has kids, if he has, you know, he, he has a family, you know, I feel bad for them because, I mean, they're going to have to, if he has kids, see their father through a, a, a glass window for uh, for the rest of his life, probably. Or, you know, if he has family, like, you know, mother, father, I mean, they're probably going to die um, and he's not going to be able to go to the funeral. I mean, like stuff like that. I mean, that's that's just, that's the reality that he's going to have to face spending the next 45 years in prison. He's going to see family members pass away where he can't attend their funerals. He's going to see people who graduate from high school, college where he can't, you know, attend their graduations. He can't see people grow up and it's crazy. But that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment and have a nice day. Peace.